fashion insider friends. What is up? This is the Fashion Crimes Podcast, where I cover all things fashion, style, shopping, style inspiration, and interview incredible small business owners who are changing the fashion industry for the better. Yes, I'm the best friend you never knew you needed and the poster child for fashion over 40. And I mean, way after 40. Say it with me, fashion and style are your friends, not your enemies. I'm Holly Cates, your favorite personal stylist, and let's keep it real, the only Holly you need to know. Turn it up, because I got a lot to say, and I am super stoked you're here. In case you haven't noticed, what to wear to work is now more confusing than ever. It was confusing before with what is business casual and what that really means. Y'all, I have air quotes here. But most people working half at home and half in the office, it's so unclear what people should be looking for when buying clothes for work. If you hate shopping anyway, it's really annoying these days to try to figure out how to dress for when you do go into the office. And if you're like in a hybrid type situation or even just working from home, you still have to get dressed. Pajamas on the bottom, uh, that shit is over, or at least it should be. This is the new evolution of casual clothes being acceptable at the workplace now more than ever. Love it or hate it, this is what we're working with and we can't change it. Let's embrace it, shall we? This year has gotten off to a fabulous, fabulous start. And I want to thank you, dear Insider Besties, for pushing me up in Apple Podcasts. Keep the reviews, emails, and requests coming this way. I can serve you better and learn what y'all need to know the most. I sure hope you've been listening all month, and this has been a long-ass month, let me tell you. The sales are on like Donkey Kong with 50% off here, 40% off, 70% off there, but don't get crazy, okay? Have you downloaded the only wardrobe checklist that you're ever going to need? Just go to the Fashion Crimes Podcast website, put your name into the pop-up box, and you'll get a free wardrobe checklist ASAP. You'll be glad you did. Did you know that I just happened to be quoted in InStyle Australia for the best summer outfit ideas? Um, Avi, it's summer over there and they just happened to use me not once, but a few times in their article. So thank you to InStyle Australia for that. Loving this journey for me. What else y'all want to know? Hit me up again, InStyle Australia. I mean, right? I'm here for you. As you're looking through your closet, we need to address the most pressing issue that I see in closets with people wanting to stay in comfort mode. Now, that used to make me mad. I used to get mad at people for that. But now I'm embracing it because I've always said, I want to walk around with a sleeping bag wrapped around me all day too. But you got to give somewhere. But there is a way to be comfortable and stylish. I mean, I'm not mad at you for wanting to be comfortable, but you can't look like that was your main focus in getting dressed. You feel me? For example, let's talk about the difference between pants and jeans. Some like to call it slacks. Some people call it trousers. The truth of the matter is, is that y'all really have no excuse not to have or find a good fitting, comfortable pair of slacks. With the advancement of fabric technology, this is what people are really demanding. Wrinkle-free, easy to care for, travel wear, comfortable pants. So with that being said, I'm going to suggest that you start figuring out what next, like what type of support you need. So let's use me as an example. I'm little in the middle, but I have much back. Okay. Otherwise known as big butt, little waist, hourglass or carrying my weight on the bottom half of my body. Let the record be shown just according to me. I'm not going to wear pants without stretch. Not in this lifetime. It's not going to happen. I like to have a little support in the butt, and I'm certainly not going to be upset if it has support like in the stomach area as well. I don't have to specifically shop for that, but I do love it, and I love to have as much support as I can get in a garment. I'm going to look for a slimming, dark-colored pant that I can wear to work to meet clients that don't look like leggings or sweats or pajama pants. They look like real pants that can be seen in the real world. I prefer to wear darker colors on the bottom, and I'm not going to wear white pants, but commend others who can. 
When choosing a color, don't just opt for black. You can wear navy, dark red, burgundy, which I love on the bottom, or like a smoky, like a charcoal gray. I love a smoky gray pant or even a brown or dark caramel colored pant, It's but it's got to be in the right shade. Any of those colors create a great foundation for work outfits. My pick for great workout pants are as follows. Write this down. Spanx High Rise Flare, $168 on Spanx.com. They come in a couple of different colors. The Atala Pant from Veronica Beard, Stretch Vegan Leather Pants and Ecru, 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 $498. Now, I know before you freak out over buying a pair of $500 pants, they are vegan leather pants, so they are less expensive than regular leather pants, and they're not going to go out of style, especially if you live somewhere really, really cold. Leather pants are a really good investment. The Avery High Rise Pleated Wide Leg Trouser at Anthropology. Uh, their house brand, it's called Mave or Mauve, M A E V E. Uh, $148. I still love Anthropology because I, they have great style and great styling. They really know how to sell a garment because their pictures to me really show how you can wear it. So don't sleep on Anthropology. A brand I've never heard of called High Sport, which is 32% Lycra, 68% cotton blend cropped pants. These are a little bit more at $860, but please hold all your comments. You really get what you pay for. The construction and the fabric are extremely high quality. The reason why I say this is because I just bought another pair of pants from a different designer, Sergio Hudson. They were stupidly expensive, but they fit me so great. I cannot wait to wear them. Stay tuned for when I get photographed at Fashion Week in my purple pants by Sergio Hudson. So high sport. I highly recommend looking at that. Even if you don't get them, read the description about the fabric and see what's different and see what you pay for. Get what you're getting. Now, all of these styles are on my Pinterest board if you are ready to research and purchase. I've done all the work for you. So you've got some moderate and then you've got some high price. I will say that for a quality pair of pants for work, you should be spending at least $150 $150 or more. Look for things that will incorporate a well-constructed garment. Things that you can look for, for example, are the seams. Make sure the seams are finished and check the strength of the seams. Pull on them. Make sure they don't easily fall apart or pull easily or come undone. The next thing you need to check for are the buttons and the zipper. Make sure everything is functioning, that the buttonhole is the right size, and the zipper moves up and down with ease. There's nothing worse than getting something home and the fucking zipper doesn't work or the buttonholes are too small or it's too hard because you didn't feel like trying it on. That I hate that. Make sure you check all of that before you purchase, okay? I also want you to look for damages. I know this might seem strange, but if a million people have tried on one pair of pants, they can very much easily get damaged. Lastly. Look at the care instructions. Read the care instructions. If you are not willing to take care of the garment as intended, you're wasting your money. High-end garments are high maintenance. Ever heard that expensive cars require expensive parts? It's the same thing with clothes. High-end garments are high maintenance. If you're not willing to dry clean, please don't spend the money on dry clean only fabrics. Also, I'm really just saying this from experience, do not purchase things that don't make sense for your lifestyle. For example, there's a reason why I don't own any white pants. I cannot keep them clean. I know how to eat over a plate. I know how to use a fork. I know how to drink out of a glass. But looking at my white pants, you would think the opposite of that. I have a very, very expensive pair of white pants. I'm bitter, party of one. Very expensive pair of white pants by Cushney. They're not even in business anymore. And they have a stain on them. They're black and white. And I cannot get rid of them. I don't exactly know what it is. But now those pants are ruined. And I've tried different cleaners, talking to the cleaners, etc. So that's the end of me and my relationship with white pants. No, not even white jeans. The answer is no. Can't keep them clean. I had one pair of white jeans. 
Now there's something on the butt. I can't get it out. I'm done. I'm over it. Super annoying. But now I know that's not my jam. Wearing dresses and skirts are actually a favorite of mine when I have to dress up when working with clients. I really think dresses are easier to wear more than anything else. It is the epitome of comfort when having to be on your feet all day or moving around a lot, or if you're talking to people, or if you don't get to sit around, or if you're in the car all day, that's my top pick. When shopping for dresses or skirts, the same rules apply. Make sure the zippers work. Make sure the seams are finished and bound. Also, make sure that the fabric is not see-through. I may or may not be speaking from experience, okay? Put your hand under the fabric and see if you can see through it. If you can see through it, it's too thin. That means you're going to see your underwear or your bra or whatever. That means it's too thin. Also, if it doesn't have a lining, that's a red flag as well. If you're buying like a double knit or like a sweater dress or something like that, of course, it's not going to have a lining. But if you buy a summer dress, it should have a lining. When buying dresses that come to the knee, please do me a solid. Do the sit down test. I make people when they buy dresses at the knee or jeans to make sure it's not too short or too tight. Also, please note, if this is something that you have to wear shapewear with just to feel like you look okay, I want you to think twice on that. For special occasion dress, I would say yes. If you have to wear shapewear, great, go for it. Sky's the limit. But for work, I don't really, or something that you wear every day, I don't want you to buy a dress that you have to wear shapewear with. You just don't need that stress on the daily unless you like to wear shapewear every day. And some people do. I just think for an everyday look, you don't need that pressure. Get the supportive fabric that will help you in the places that you need more coverage or support. So what that really means is that if you put on a dress, you're like, I like it, but I need shapewear. That means that's not the right fabric for you. I have some amazing pics of some dresses that I loved for you for work, regardless of your industry. If you're a preschool teacher and you're changing diapers all day, I do not expect you to wear a dress to work. But if you're meeting with clients, if you're in sales, if you're in healthcare, not office healthcare, not scrubs healthcare, if you're seeing people and you have to be in an office, wearing a dress can be casual and comfortable and it looks really nice. That's my only beef with that. These dresses are work appropriate and will hold a place in your wardrobe to wear other places. So my first pick, Hobbs London. The Petite Lena dress, which is $290. This is a knit dress that has long sleeves and a contrasting outline go day pleated skirt. Very wintry chic. So it's kind of like when I say the go day is the type of pleat. And then on the outline of the pleat, it has a contrasting trim. So it's really cool. This dress is going to look gorgeous with like a really tall boot and a leather coat. It's a great price. And they have tons of dresses on the more conservative end that are really like ladylike dresses, in my opinion. Great staples to have for the events in people's lives that usually come up. Should you buy everything from there? No, but they have a lot of really nice classic styles in really great fabrics. Next, Rami Brooke. This is just as a designer out of LA who usually uses silky fabrics that drape beautifully at a very contemporary price point. Her clothes are sold in over 250 boutiques and stores that are always free-flowing and very comfortable. I mean, her fabric is like in the wind. And a lot of her stuff, in my opinion, it looks alike, but it's great on different body types because it drapes really nice. The Valentine dress, which is one of my favorites, saw my Pinterest board V-neck with a gathered smocked waist with a handkerchief hem. That dress is going to look great on any body type. I don't care what it is. Now, this dress is $500, but I will say it is going to be timeless and in great investment if you're interested in it. I mean, I would wear this dress all day long. Looks super comfortable. Also, you could put a really, really sheer, very thin turtleneck underneath it and wear it in the winter. Just saying. I love it. It looks great. They have it with a chain belt. You'll see it on the Pinterest board. I love that dress. My next pick for dresses is going to be the Ted Baker Avery draped neck midi dress. This is a black cap sleeve dress with a draped and gathered mock neck. Very 
very flattering neckline. It has an abstract floral print on the side. It really looks like a painting. Very elegant and can be worn for day or night. I really love this dress. I like Ted Baker. It's kind of come up and down and it's all over the place. I liked it, then I didn't. This dress is $395 at Bloomingdale's. I just really love it. And for all you short people out there, this dress kind of comes to halfway down your shin. It would look great hemmed up right to the knee. Last top pick is the Kamala dress from Trina Turk. Now, I never suggest Trina Turk, but this specific dress is on sale for $334. It's a very good deal. And the print is very strong and it's super colorful. What I love about this dress is that it's a button front and the pattern is crazy, but it goes into a trapunto stripe. A trapunto stripe is a stripe that meets at the top in the middle, like the top of a triangle. This is a very, very slimming look. And with a belt, it'll make your waist look super tiny. I love this dress. Like seriously, I want to get it for me because it's rare when I find patterns, like especially like crazy patterns that I like. It's such a flattering shape. It's a win-win. That's what I want you guys to start looking for is that, yes, it's a great shape, but the pattern is also flattering as well. And it's on sale. So there's that. That is a great dress to even look at so you can see what I'm talking about. The last category I have to cover is tops. Now, if you downloaded your wardrobe checklist, like I told you to, the only wardrobe checklist that you're ever going to need, which is episode 118, I stated on the list that you need sweaters, jackets, blouses, and bodysuits. I think blouses is what we're going to discuss as I don't have the time to discuss all of them. And it's really just boils down to the sleeve length. Some people run hot and they don't want long sleeve. Some don't want to show their arms with a short sleeve. So there's no right or wrong, but you should really have a mix of both and not to wear the same thing or the type of the same thing all the time. My first pick is the Frankie Henley in Noir from Frame. Price is $188. This is a black tee with a three button scoop neck and an elbow length puff sleeve. It's just casual enough not to be super dressy, but dressy enough not to look super casual. I think this is a must-have. Next pick is the Nimona top from BA and SH. It's got a slouchy V-neck, puff sleeves that tie in a fabulous sort of like geometrical tribal looking print. A blouse like this is a great way to camouflage anything that you need help with on the top. This is a French brand, but their sizing isn't super slim like most European brands that run really small. They have incredible fabrics with a classic silhouette. BA and SH literally stands for Barbara and Sharon, the designers, which I just learned. They have stores everywhere, so check them out. They have a store, I think it's on Madison Avenue. They have great stuff. I love them. Reese, which started out as a menswear tailoring company in 1971 in the UK, has grown over the decades to dress men, women, and children. The Cali Tux blouse, long sleeve blouse in ivory from Reese is on sale. Ding, 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 alert at Bloomingdale's. I just saw it at this very, very, very affordable price of $95 down from $240. So if you are in need of a white blouse, you need to get on that. It has a contrasting black trim, large tie at the neck so you can wear it tied or untied. Loving this look with some leather pants or white slacks. Yes. Not that I'm going to wear white pants because somebody else can wear white pants. I would wear it with black leather pants. But it's really cool because they show it untied. So the tie is really long. Looks great. Last pick. The Cali crossover bodysuit from Legence. It comes in both black and white. Legence is a California brand with a French attitude. Their words. I know this is expensive at $425, but I will say a bodysuit which is my absolute favorite piece of clothing, is the most flattering if you have an hourglass shape. This particular bodysuit has shearing, like it gathers at the shoulder and creates a beautiful ruffle type of rippling effect all the way down to the waist. It looks like it in the picture it has shoulder pads, but it didn't say that in the description, but I would be shocked if it did not. It has a very strong shoulder. I would wear this any day, all day long, any day of the week to work or to go out. I love it. I have so much more to say on this subject. Honestly, I'm going to do a part two. We haven't talked about shoes. 
We haven't talked about skirts or accessories or jewelry. I promise to continue this. As you know, everything is on my Pinterest board with active links. So you know exactly which pieces are the best for your specific work wardrobe. This is a great time to shop right now. So if you're not sure, just get a few things and then rotate out what you've worn to death or that you really don't wear anymore. If you need more help, reach out to me via email, holly at fashioncrownspodcast.com or send me a DM on my Instagram account under Fashion Crowns Podcast or Holly Kate Styling. Thank you so very much for listening this week. We have a designer spotlight next week, so stay tuned for that. Share this with someone you love. Tell everyone you know. Connect with me on social media. Watch us on YouTube. Super excited to share our designer spotlight with you next week. Y'all have a fabulous, fashionable week. And I will be at New York Fashion Week in two weeks, so count on that. We're going to be covering most of the shows or some of the shows that we can get into. So we have so much great fashion content coming straight to your inbox every single week. And don't know how your day can get any better. This has been the Fashion Crimes Podcast. Thank you so much for listening, and we are out. Bye.